Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Professor Weidlich and Dr. Hickman for the wonderful music. Good afternoon and welcome to our annual Outstanding Student Awards Convocation. Will everyone please stand and face the American flag on the stage for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in. Okay, thank you. Will everyone please be seated? Again, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Tom Labasso, president of Daytona State College. Again, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the annual awards convocation. Welcome faculty, staff, friends, and family members, and especially our students. And now I'd like to introduce our platform guests Please stand as I call your name and be seated as the next name is called. Beginning on my right, Paul Capps, Faculty Senate President, Dr. Amy Locklear, Executive Vice President and Provost, Dr. Lakeisha Holmes, Associate Vice President for the College of Arts and Sciences, Will Dunn, Dean, School of Health and Wellness and Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, Sharice Ramos, Vice President, Student Development, Dr. Cheryl Weems, Associate Vice President, Mary Carl College of Workforce and Continuing Education. Dr. Colin Chesley, Associate Vice President, College of Health and Public Services. Neil Clemens, Director, DeLand and Deltona Campuses. Anaris Inman, Director, New Smyrna Beach, Edgewater Campus. Dr. Jim Marandino, Director, Flagler Palm Coast Campus. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Again, welcome. It's an honor to be with you in person once more, this being my 10th convocation, here at our annual Outstanding Student Awards Convocation. This celebration is a wonderful opportunity to recognize the remarkable achievements of our students, faculty, and staff. I'm confident we will hear about the individuals recognized today achieving an even greater success as they progress along their careers. Alumni who sat 
in the same chairs over the years are making a difference in their chosen profession throughout the world. We are immensely proud of them and of you. And while our primary focus today is on the accomplishments of our students, we also want to recognize the important role that our faculty and staff play in fostering their success. The interactions our faculty and staff have with students is a testament to their success. The relationships you have created position our students for ongoing excellence in their education, career, and in life. I am proud to be associated with each and every one of you for your dedication to helping our students pursue their dreams. Would all the faculty please rise? Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you for what you do, and a little later we will call one of you to the podium for a special recognition. Thank you. But first, let us focus on our students. Today we have 168 award recipients selected by faculty and staff for their accomplishments in the classroom, on campus, and in the community. We have outstanding students in virtually all of our academic programs, from adult education, through our baccalaureate programs. They represent the incredible diversity of our student body. Some are the first in their families to attend college. A few are enrolled in high school and college. Others are studying for their second or even third careers. Whatever their journey, today they are being recognized for their remarkable achievement. Students, your outstanding achievements and unwavering dedication are an inspiration to all of us. You validate and reaffirm everything we do to keep the focus on our core values. When you do great things, we share in your success. You are tomorrow's leaders. The world needs your talent, dedication, and inspiration. Learn as much as you can and never stop striving to make this world a better place for everyone. Speaking of inspiration, I'm sure each of you seated here has inspired has been inspired by someone in your life. And I suspect some of those people are in the audience. Let's give your families and friends a round of applause for their steadfast support. It is truly amazing that our students can achieve what our students can achieve when they have family and friends to support their ambitions. It is truly a team effort to achieve this level of success. And that is why we will be recognizing some of our staff today as well. And now, Paul Capps, President of Faculty Senate, will say a few words on behalf of the faculty. Students, administrators, faculty, community members, family, and friends, we welcome to the 2024 Student Awards Convocation. My name is Paul Capps, and I am the current Faculty Senate President here at Daytona State College. On behalf of the faculty at Daytona State College, I bring you one simple message. Thank you. As faculty members, we care deeply about all of our students here at Daytona State College. We do our best to help every student work through every academic setback, and we celebrate with our students when they overcome those hurdles. But there is no question that some of our most enjoyable moments as faculty members come from watching students just be successful. And each of you have shown the highest levels of success. We know how much work it is required to be one of the best. You have put in that work step by step, assignment by assignment, and course by course. The faculty may have provided the forum and the tools, but you did the work, and you did it well. To be able to say we had a part in your success is a great honor. So again, on behalf of the individual faculty members who work here and have worked with you over your time at Daytona State College, I say thank you, great job.
and we wish you continued success every step of the way. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Cerise Ramos, Vice President of Student Development, who will present the Student Development Awards. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. For many students, involvement in campus events and activities can make the difference between average performance in the classroom and exceptional performance. The following students have not only made a difference in their own lives, but they have also contributed to the life and character of our institution and served our community. The outstanding student in student government is Gael Vitalian. The outstanding student in student life is Trinity Baker. The outstanding student in student publications is Nevea B. Alliance. The outstanding student in the residence hall is Michael Velez. Next, Will Dunn, Dean for the School of Health and Wellness and Director of Intercollegiate Athletics, will present the Outstanding Student Athletes. Each year, we select a few shining examples of students who have excelled in the classroom as well as in their respective athletic activities. They have also contributed to the college and the community by getting deeply involved in community service. Dr. Labasso, I am pleased to present the recipients of the Outstanding Student Awards for Intercollegiate Athletics. The Outstanding Student in Baseball, Caleb Parmer. The Outstanding Student in Women's Basketball, Eva Bradshaw. The Outstanding Student in Men's Basketball, Christos Cariotis. The Outstanding Student in Women's Cross Country, Giovanna Mead. The Outstanding Student in Men's Cross Country, Brendan Hamilton. The Outstanding Student in Women's Golf, Tyler Whiting. The Outstanding Student in Women's Soccer, Wakaba Kogare. Next, Dr. Lakeisha Holmes, Vice President, Associate Vice President of the College of Arts and Sciences, will present the outstanding students in her area. The next group of award recipients are from the various disciplines under the College of Arts and Sciences. I will also be announcing the recipients of the annual writing contest sponsored by our Humanities and Communications faculty. The outstanding student in the Bachelor of Science Elementary Education is Carly Harris. The outstanding student in the Bachelor of Science Secondary Biology Education is Erin Alligood. The 
The outstanding student in the Quanta Honors College is Maria Castillo Enriquez. The outstanding student in the School of Mathematics Dan Stout Award is Jacob Zeller. The outstanding student in the School of Mathematics is Logan Blanken. The outstanding student in the Mike Kerb College of Music, Entertainment, and Art, 3D Studio Arts, is Tiana Espada. The outstanding student in the, school, in the Mike Kerb College of Music, Entertainment, and Art in 2D Studio Arts is Nikki Sobek. The outstanding student in the Mike Kerb College of Music, Entertainment, and Art, Instrumental Music is Xavier Perez. The outstanding student in the Mike Kerb College of Music, Entertainment, and Art in theater is Madison Clark. The outstanding student in the, uh, I'm sorry, Mike Kerb College of Music, Entertainment, and Art, Choral Music is Joshua Freeman. The outstanding student in the School of Biological and Physical Sciences is Joshua Weaver. The outstanding student in the School of Biological and Physical Sciences is Zoe Brown. The outstanding student in the School of Biological and Physical Sciences in Physics is Lexiana Stagert. The outstanding student in the School of Communication is Madison Kuning. The outstanding student in the School of Social Sciences is Alyssa Van Riper. And the outstanding student in the School of Communications short fiction category is James Creamer. <laughs> Next, Dr. Colin Chesley, Associate Vice President of the College of Health and Public Services will present the outstanding students in his areas. Good afternoon. The College of Health and Public Services is proud to announce the recipients of outstanding student awards from the various programs of study within our college. These students have excelled not only in the classroom, but also in laboratories, clinical, and field settings. We're confident they will excel in their respective professions. The outstanding student in the School of Dental Sciences Dental Hygiene is Ashlyn Stoddard. The outstanding student in the School of Emergency Services Law Enforcement Academy is Zachary Ignafo. The outstanding student in the School of Health Careers Radiography is Maria Feliz Cruz. The outstanding student in the School of Health Careers Respiratory Care is Dylan Brown. The outstanding student in the School of Health Careers Massage Therapy is Kalina Santiago.
The outstanding student in the School of Health Careers Medical Assisting is Kelly Carnes. The outstanding student in the School of Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, BSN, is Margaret Cohen. The outstanding student in the School of Nursing, Associate Degree, Transition into Profession, is Terrence White. The outstanding student in the School of Nursing, Nursing Associate Degree, is Brianna LaRocca. The outstanding student in the School of Nursing, LPN, Licensed Practical Nursing, is Kayla Thompson. And the outstanding student in the School of Nursing, PRN, Practical Nursing, is Erica Anderson. Next, Dr. Locklear will announce the awards for the Academic Support Center and Writing Center. The Academic Support Center and the Writing Center promote learning and help students achieve their full potential by providing the resources they need to become successful, independent learners. We appreciate all of our students who assist with tutoring and other support services, but we have selected a few today for special recognition. The outstanding student in the Writing Center, Daytona Beach Campus, is Maria Castillo Enriquez. <laughs> The outstanding student in the Academic Support Center, Outstanding Customer Service, is Faye Maria Uveris. <laughs> Next, Dr. Williams, Associate Vice President of the Mary Carl College of Workforce and Continuing Education, will announce the awards in her areas. to present the recipients of the Outstanding <laughs> Student Awards from the Mary Carl College of Workforce and Continuing Education. The students enrolled in these programs are well prepared to be productive and competitive in today's workforce. They provide many essential services to our community and contribute greatly to our local economy. The Outstanding Student in Welding Technology is Salvador Piazza. The outstanding student in auto service technology is Ignacio Vega. The outstanding student for electrical apprenticeship non-union is Henry Linderman. The outstanding student for the plumbers and pipe fitters apprentice is Sam Bass. The outstanding student for barbering is Linda McCoy. The outstanding student for cosmetology is Lexis Carlson. The outstanding student for the general education development degree is Russell Allman. The outstanding student for our English for Speakers of Other Languages program is Yelitsa Fernandez Ruiz. And 
And now Dr. Locklear will present the awards for the College of Business, Engineering, and Technology. It is my pleasure to present to you the award recipients for the College of Business, Engineering, and Technology. We are very proud of our award recipients as they have set high standards of excellence in the classroom and in their service to the college and the community. The outstanding student in the College of Hospitality and Culinary Management Associate of Science degree in hospitality is Angelicia Clark. The outstanding student in the College of Hospitality and Culinary Management Baking and Pastry Arts Certificate is Natalia Passioni. The outstanding student in the College of Hospitality and Culinary Management Beverage Science Certificate is Charlene Dufford. The outstanding student in the College of Hospitality and Culinary Management Culinary Arts Certificate is Yasmina Tabers. The outstanding school student in the School of Business Administration Bachelor of Science in Accounting is Caroline Korn. The outstanding student in the School of Business Administration Bachelor of Applied Science Supervision and Management Concentration, Jedediah Matheson. The outstanding student in the School of Business Administration Bachelor of Applied Science in Hospitality Concentration, Kyle Town. The outstanding student in the School of Business Administration, Bachelor of Applied Science with the Project Management Concentration, Desiree Gilmore. The outstanding student in the School of Business Administration, Associate of Science, Operations Management Technology, Tion Robinson. Robertson. The outstanding student in the School of Business Administration Associate of Science in Industrial Management Technology, Dustin Avenger. The outstanding student in the School of Business Administration Project Management, Christina Matrix. The outstanding student in the School of Building and Architectural Technology, Interior Design Technology, is Giselle Pasquale. The outstanding student in the School of Computer Science, Computer Programming Certificate, is Hunter Hattake. The outstanding student in the School of Engineering Technology Web Systems Software Development Certificate is Jonathan Covert. The outstanding student in the School of Engineering Technology Bachelor of Science in Engineering Technology Electrical Engineering Concentration is David Smith. Each year, the faculty, staff, and administrators at the regional campuses select students to be recognized for their academic achievements and contributions to those specific campuses. I will begin with the Advanced Technology College campus. The outstanding student at the Advanced Technology College campus is Varushka Valencia. Next, Dr. James Marandina will present the Flagler Palm Coast Campus Awards. Good afternoon. 
It is my pleasure to present the Outstanding Student Award from the Flagler Palm Coast campus. The Outstanding Student and Bachelor of Science, Supervision and Management, School of Business and Human Resources, Melissa Marshall. The Outstanding Student and Service to Campus, Douglas Fraberg. Next, Neil Clemens from the Deltona and DeLand campuses will present his awards. Dr. Lobasso, I am pleased to present the Outstanding Student Awards from the DeLand and Deltona campuses. I will start with the DeLand campus and continue with the Deltona campus. The Outstanding Service to Campus, Angelica Ravisa. <laughs> Outstanding Student in Nursing, Drew Whitaker. Outstanding service to Deltona campus, Quentin Wilson. <laughs> Next, Anaris Inman, Director, New Smyrna Beach Campus, Edgewater Campus, will present his awards. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to present the Outstanding Student Awards for the new Smyrna Beach Edgewater Campus. The Outstanding Student in Service to Campus, Lucas Pezen. It is my privilege to ask Paul Capps to continue with the Faculty Senate Student Award. Faculty Senate Student Award is presented to a student who has demonstrated service to Daytona State College and or service to the community at large, along with a commitment and dedication to their academic progress. I am proud to present the Faculty Senate Student Award to Sydney Lee Durham. Unfortunately, Sydney was not able to attend today's ceremony. Uh, thank you. It is my privilege to ask Dr. Locklear to continue with the Falcon Student Engagement Awards. At this time, I'll present the Service Learning and Falcon Student Engagement Awards. These awards recognize students who exemplify the college's core values of community, integrity, excellence, innovation, and student success. Students who engage in voluntary academic activities, demonstrate leadership in student clubs and organizations, provide support for academic services, and serve our community are eligible for this award. As I call your name, please come forward to be recognized. The outstanding student for the Falcon Student Engagement Awards include Kaylee Amuso. Sophia Avalo. Mike Baumgartner. Eva Bradshaw. Dylan Brown. Holly Carper. Kristen Darty. Alexandra Draper. Maria Castillo Enriquez.
Braylon Garcia. Brendan Hamilton. Savinia Henderson. Nyasia James. Mia Mendoza. Alexis Mills. Annalise Roth. Julia Rinks. Samuel Scotia. Jessa Ward. Ariana Warner. Tyler Whiting. Rima Sheevely. Membership in the Daytona State College Hall of Fame is the highest honor that the faculty may bestow on a student. Nomination is based on the highest standards of excellence in scholarship, leadership, and citizenship. The students so honored have reflected the highest credit on themselves and the institution by assuming the mantle of progressive and constructive leadership while maintaining an exemplary grade point average of not less than 3.5. As a token of this honor, each recipient will be presented with a silver key. As I call your name, please come forward to, to accept your award. Erica Anderson. <laughs> Nevea Leitz. Maria Castillo Enriquez. <laughs> Wakaba Kogare. <laughs> Lexiana Stagard. <laughs> Michael Felez. Jessa Ward. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize a very special group of faculty. The title Faculty Emeritus is given to those faculty members who have retired from full-time teaching after an exemplary career. Those given this title are nominated by their colleagues, voted from within the Faculty Senate, and approved by the President. Faculty in this category retain status as an active member of the faculty body and continue to conduct research and contribute to the life of the college. As I call the names of the 2023 Faculty Emeritus recipients that we recognize today, please come forward and allow us to recognize your many years of outstanding service to Daytona State College. Dr. Deborah Hirsch. Dr. Betty Parham.
I have another round of applause for all those recipients. Today. Before we move to our Employee Excellence Awards, I'd like to take a moment to recognize all the faculty members who serve on college committees and volunteer their time as advisors to student clubs and organizations. Many faculty, staff, and administrators go above and beyond to guide and assist our students outside the classroom and in the community. Thank you all for your service. Being surrounded by such great people, it is hard to single out a few for rec recognition. Each year, we do our best to, to select those who embody our mission and values as an institution. At this time, I would like to recognize a faculty member for instructional excellence, as well as three non-instructional members of the Daytona State College family for their exemplary service. I will begin with the Presidential Medallion Award for Teaching Excellence. This year's recipient earned a Bachelor's of Science degree in Journalism, a Master's of Arts degree, and a PhD in English, all at the University of Florida. This individual's career at the Daytona State College began in 2008, teaching compos composition, research, and literature in the School of Humanities and Communications. Have we guessed yet? He served as facilitator for the WACWID program, sharing his expertise in teaching writing with others. Currently, he serves as an advisor for student publication, which includes Daytona State College student newspaper, In Motion, and the literary magazine, Aeolus. He has been described by colleagues as the most charismatic professor at the college. Beyond all that, charisma, however, is a generous and caring colleague and an enthusiastic supporter of his students. Students appreciate the freedom and creativity inherent to his assignment design and the encouragement they receive throughout the writing process. He is also known to innovate in his teaching practices, exploring new ways of assessment and innovative course content delivery. It is evident that he loves what he does and he makes students want to, to learn more from him. Please join me in recognizing Dr. Haran Thomas as a recipient of the Presidential Medallion Award for Teaching Excellence. Okay, this year's recipient of the Presidential Sterling Award for Professional Excellence in the administrative category is now in their 10th year at the college. This individual's commitment to excellence in research, writing, and editing has all contributed to the exceptional leadership of what we call the Grants Office. Her ability to digest and manage large volumes of complex and often arcane information has resulted in Daytona State being awarded grants that have been have benefited faculty, staff, and students, and allowed us to proceed with the valuable projects that might, might otherwise go unfunded. She's involved in the Florida Resource Development Council and willingly shares her knowledge with everyone who seeks her advice. Her expertise is highly esteemed, not only by her entire team, but also by members of the senior executive staff. She is well-deserving in this recognition, which honors those who have demonstrated an outstanding commitment and contribution to Daytona State in the support of students, faculty, staff, and the community we serve. Please join me in recognizing our Director of Resource Development, Dr. Lisa Kugel, as a recipient of this year's Presidential Award for Professional Excellence.
Next is the Presidential Sterling Award for Professional Excellence in the Professional Category. Since joining the college in 1997, our recipient has consistently demonstrated a remarkable commitment to student success. Throughout this individual's career, they have risen through the ranks, starting as an administrative specialist in the adult education department. This person's dedication was recognized with a promotion to administrative assistant to, then to financial aid analyst, and ultimately to her current role as a senior business analyst in enrollment services. Her analytical skills and problem solving abilities have been integral to the smooth functioning of the enrollment division. Her behind the scenes work has directly helped hundreds of students through the enrollment process. I would probably say thousands of students, ensuring they are on the right track for success. Knowing for her dependability and reliability, she is, valued, she is a value asset to her colleagues. Her collaborative spirit fosters strong relationships across enrollment services, always striving for a seamless experience for students. Beyond her technical expertise, she embodies the college's commitment to student well-being. Her dedication and unwavering passion for students' success extends beyond the call of duty, ensuring each student receives the support they need. Please join me in recognizing Kelly Pennington as the recipient of the Presidential Sterling Award for Professional Excellence. Career employees are the backbone of this institution, and each year we recognize an employee, employee who exemplifies this category. The recipient of the Presidential Sterling Award for Professional Excellence in Career Service Employee category joined the college in 2000, working in the Student Accounts Office for more than 23 years. As you can imagine, this individual has a vast amount of knowledge and history those years of with those years of service. As a supervisor, she is often the first DSC staff member that student account specialists and other departments reach out to for assistance. She is always happy to share her knowledge with anyone, staff, and students alike. There are students that call to speak with her personally for anything related to their account. For staff, most people have, con have a contact or go-to person when they need help. She's on everyone's list. She is very uh, patient, and has a calming demeanor when helping students and family members. We are proud and fortunate to have her at Daytona State College. Please join me in recognizing Michelle LaPlante as the recipient of the Presidential Sterling Award for Freshman Education. Once again, congratulations to all the students. We are extremely proud of your great accomplishments, and we hope to see you return to Daytona State someday to be recognized for your outstanding professional achievements. There will be a reception with food and refreshments, a reception with food and re refreshments just outside the pool area immediately following the ceremony. Will everyone please remain seated while the platform guests and faculty leave the Lemron Center? Again, thank you and congratulations to everyone recognized today.